Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Duck 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 here, and today I'm going to be doing the ninth episode of the gameplay review series. I'm going to be reviewing Spidey's gameplay today, so before we jump right into it, because his video gets like right into the gameplay, there's no waiting at all. If you're new to this series and you would like to submit clips of gameplay, make sure to email duckduckdog1 at gmail.com. All that information is going to be in the description below. Uh, I would prefer 12 to 20 minutes of gameplay just so I can get a really good idea of how you play. Um, also, my back is hurting really bad, so I might sound really strained in this video. Oh, also, um, Spidey plays a couple of teams games, and I'm not too keen on reviewing teams because, like, your teammate can just come out of nowhere and save your ass, and it has, like, nothing to do with game sense. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So as you can clearly see, as I was saying, he jumps right into it, wastes absolutely no time, starts the video when he needs to. He's Snowman Prestige 2. Pretty good kit choice, and uh, he gets chain leggings out of a chest right off the bat. His looting is fast and prioritized. He knows what his kit gets. He knows what's up. He gets the apples, but that's okay. I think Snowman actually gets food. I would have sound on for this video, but he has music going in the background, so it's whatever. All right, so let's see his first PvP battle against Waffle Rod. His aim's a little shaky here, but that's that's okay. Yeah, but I did skip forward in the video to see he plays a couple of teams games. He has a shit ton of armor off the bat. Holy moly. Seven armor bars. He pretty much was set up right when he got that iron chest plate, honestly. But yeah, he, he loots what he needs to. His PvP is not even that bad. Somebody's trash talking him in the chat. I don't appreciate that very much. Oh, 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 never mind. He's saying shit, Spidey, almost 100,000. Like, this guy's a badass. You you have no doubt in your mind. This guy is a badass. He is the snowman. He's missing the snowballs, but that's alright, I guess. I mean, as long as you, you know, guarantee the kill. To be fair, though, two snowballs later in the game could mean a lot. Drinks the health boost as early as possible. That's always good. Personally, I always forget to drink health boost potions when I have them sometimes. Like, it takes me a bit to, like, drink them, I guess. Again, missing one snowball there. I mean, missing snowballs isn't too big of a deal. You get so many with snowmen, but sometimes you get into a situation where you may need to spam them, so... Like, wasting them is not the best idea. He didn't waste any for that kill, though, and that kill gave him a lot of gear, so that's really good. He knows how to secure kills really fast. It's really good. Keeps his inventory clean. You already know how it is. Axe named Spooty. He's going. I don't really know what else to really say right here. You know, he's kind of just wandering around. He sees a kill. That's good. Gets the snowball off for the double damage bug, or the possible double, da double damage bug. It's like I'm Doug Demodome, you know, just saying D's out here. Alright, he's getting bowed back a lot right here, but the proj prod is saving him, so that's good. He's kind of just, like, aping into this kill. I'd say, like, definitely work on the arrow dodging. He's dodging arrows, but he's, like, not at the same time, you know? Also, going for one kill too hard could get you killed. I mean, you're in so much gear, it's not really going to matter, but I just may as well throw that out there anyways. He throws a random snowball that hits the wall. Like I said, you know, throwing snowballs or throwing too many might harm you later in the game. I know that, like... You get 64. Again, I am aware you get 64, but wasting them. See, like that one, you missed that one, you know. And that snowball right there was probably unnecessary. He actually could have gotten away. If he was better at the bow and he angled that shot a bit better, he could have actually gotten away from you there. But in the end, you secure the kill, so it's fine, you know. I'm just pointing it out for anybody that needs these tips, you know. Because that's normally what I do when I review, like, higher stat players. His looting's pretty fast, though. I like that. little, like, square he's got going on, a little formation. This guy in chat already, he's given up. He's like, Spidey wins. It's over. Okay, so, all right. See, that's good right there. That is that is game sense right there. So when somebody's getting the star, don't, like, prioritize the star. A good strategy is jumping over spawn to crit them out because a lot of the time, uh, the player that you're doing that to won't have the sense of the game to do that and like to counter that and like as you can clearly see he absolutely shreds him like all right look at the movement here so right when star spawns he wastes no time you see star spawns this guy moves to take the like other side of spawn because that's what players will do a lot they'll take one side and you'll take the other and you guys will open chests in a sort of like roulette game and you'll see who gets the star and then the person jumps across it is good to jump across before, because then you can get them to fuck off of star, especially if there are players in the game you don't recognize and there's only one threat, and you need to get them out of the way. He jumps across spawn as he's opening a chest. He doesn't have the reflexes to counter that, so he gets absolutely fucked over. <laughs> like, holy shit! He gets absolutely rolled! Dude, as you, look at Chad. This is when Spidey had, like, 
99,000 kills. He's actually really close to 100,000. I wouldn't doubt that he hit it like later that day or the next day. Fun little fact for you. Oh, he was in his guild. He got destroyed, he says. Yes, own it. You did get destroyed by Spidey himself. You got absolutely outplayed, no doubt, in my mind or his. Okay, so he's versus Sick 1-1. One, one. I'm pretty sure this is a win on his end. Swapping out the Stone Sword Sharpness 1 for a Diamond Axe is a smart play because it does 0.25 more damage, but I believe Diamond Axes do more crit damage. It's really just how you are, like, as a player. Either or works. Um, with swords, you can block hit, and the 0.25 damage does make a difference. A lot of higher stat players swap out Stone Sword Sharpness 1. Oh, shit. This guy actually has, like, major gear. Holy moly. He's like, give me your chest plate. I need full diamond for the gameplay review. You don't understand. Please. And this guy's like, no, I will not do that. Okay, see, that was actually cool. I did that in my video yesterday when I was, um, I wasn't playing snowman, but I got snowmen and I spawned them and they hit somebody down and it did fall damage. So that's a good, like, I guess, game sense moment. Probably, like, not intentional on his end. He's doing the bow ops. He's doing the moves. Oh, my God. Do you see this? He's doing some fancy shit for the gameplay review foe today. He actually sent me this email a long, long time ago. Holy shit, Spidey, you don't have to go this hard, my friend. Let's go back and just watch that. That's just like perfection. Absolutely perfect PvP. Holy moly. A lot of people like to shit talk Spidey, but he is better than you think. Holy moly. I don't even play against Spidey that much, honestly. I, I always find myself like... You know, not queuing him often. All right, so this is when his team games start. He cuts it because I'm assuming he just gets into, like, a call with the I'm done for who is his Nick teammate. Um, I don't, like I already said earlier in the video, I don't prefer reviewing teams because your teammate can come out of nowhere. And I'm done for is an exceptional player. So if he comes out of nowhere and saves Spidey, it's like, uh, you know, he does team games with Tynan again. So, like, I skipped into the video a bit to, like, see because he mentioned he did teams in the, the, the email. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, I could still like try and review this gameplay. This is new territory, though. This is the ninth episode, and I've never like reviewed a team's game. So um, his chest is looking a little bit like not too great. Um, oh, I didn't mention that in the game before. Actually, let me pause the video and go over that. Um, his chest root in the first game was good because he knew when to stop going on it. That is always something you need to know when you're playing Blitz. Know when to not go on a chest root because if you have enough gear and you are ready to go for the game, and you need to go chain those kills and get kit gear, um, just stop looting chests. So, like, he got a Chen chest plate and iron chest plate, so he immediately starts going for kills. High game sense moment right there, because a lot of players will, like, overloot on a chest route. They will waste time. If you waste too much time, you're not going to be able to get gear that you would have gotten if you would have stopped looting, like, earlier. So, like, you know... For example, if you go on a chest route for too long, you might have missed that valuable, like, Archer 6 kill that you could have gotten, or that Speely 9 kill, or that Wolf Tamer 8 kill, or whatever, you know? So he knows exactly when to stop going on a chest route, and that is very important in the game. Sorry if my nose sounds, like, all clogged up. Like, I, it's, I just, I don't know, man. It just happens, and it will not ever stop, so... I just have to deal with it. Oh, that's a throwback. That's a th that's a little Easter egg. YouTube underscore Darian plays HD. Do you guys see that shit? Yeah, that guy named himself that. That was very weird. A lot of people have named themselves some weird shit over the years um, relating to me, but that was one of the that was one of the funnier ones. Not gonna lie. Okay, so Spidey types mid in chat. He's getting ready. He's looking at the enemies down there. It's pretty good. All right, his teammate materializes in the middle, just out of nowhere. Or I'm done for. Whatever. It's kind of funny. I'm done for. Is making like a joint. Uh, appearance in this like a cameo in this gameplay and then they crit out this poor non that has absolutely no idea what's going on he's screaming he's yelling he doesn't know what's going on spidey's nicked is real underscore eat that's actually really solid nick holy shit i bet he waited like to get a good nick okay so Drew gets hit into the pool but he's ranger i think yeah he's ranger okay i was about to say um that could have just been like hunter with wolf tamer you don't know um so let's see if they have the Games. Okay, so it, it seems that they do know what they're doing in the sense of, like, they move around the pool and, like, kind of close him in here. That's a good strat. Always make sure to do that, because if they go the same way, then, like, I mean, no, nothing's going to get done. These guys are coming in like fucking drones. Look at them dropping. I know I'm rewinding a lot, but, like, look at them dropping from the ceiling like absolute bots. Like, like and then, Dude, like, like, where do these people come from? Holy shit, it's like they're getting spawned in. Okay, so, 
Spidey's teammate is low, so he immediately jumps in. No hesitation and completely rails that guy. Oh my god. What? That was crazy. I have to okay, I'm sorry. I'm rewinding a lot, but like this is actually pretty clean. He just goes in shaking his mouse, he destroys that guy. And that was actually especially good, too, because he was in the water. Normally, when a player's on land and another player's in the water, the player on land gets better hits than the person in the water most of the time. So for Spidey to, like, completely counter that um, known fact about PvP, like, you know, that's pretty good. All right, so he's got all the durability layouts and stuff like that. Um, never be too afraid to use, like, personally, I don't enjoy using these, like, mods and stuff and these, like, um, not mods, I guess, well, I guess mods and, uh, like, Lunar Client, Bad Line Client, all these, like, add-ons and stuff like that, because, like, I don't know, I memorize that stuff in my head, but, you know, it always is useful, like, you see in the bottom right-hand corner, it does show his armor durability. They're strategizing, they're shifting, they're communicating about different teams that could kill them, it's very smart. He's going for the Sharpness 1, Stone Sword Enchant. I think he was enchanting his armor last game, and I didn't mention that, but that was smart play on his part, too, because it's always good to get prot levels. I remember QTJ first did that, and nobody had done that in the series yet, and I was like, holy shit, this guy's enchanting his armor. Do people even do that anymore? Is that an exclusive new player thing? But, I mean, I guess not. I guess it's a 99k kill player thing, too. So they get the Blitz Star. Now, in teams, it's pretty... Oh, shit, he throws the star to Spidey. Spidey probably told him behind the scenes, he's like, look, man, I gotta make a good impression for the gameplay review series. Give me the star if you get it. Everything will be okay. Alright, so it's ticking down to deathmatch, and that's when using the star really matters. It's when it gets really intense. So we're going to see how they handle this situation here. They ninja. He ninjas and moves around Paige, actually. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was about to say, he moves around Paige to get I trash talk, which is actually huge. But it seems that they did just fine in that fight anyway. Completely railed. That was flawless. Holy moly. Nice, nice is right. You know, typing nice. Good stuff. Also, good to keep the team morale up. You know, type to your teammate. If you're not in a call with them, make sure to type, you know. Go good. Do do some good stuff. I mean, he's probably in a call with him. Spidey doesn't actually talk. He just mutes his mic. So he probably is in a call with him. But it is always good to, you know, type encouraging things to your teammate, man. It's wholesome. It's good. And they win the game flawlessly. They really had no trouble. Oh, and <laughs> that's a bee hopper. That is a bee hopper. Okay. Right off the bat, he's like, oh, run! Dun, 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 dun! Action music is playing. See, that's high game sense, man. You know when to run. Let's go. Run from a bee hopper. I'm just kidding. That's fucking common sense. We all know to run the opposite way of a bee hopper, obviously. And uh, as I'm done for, made a cameo. So does get Rectine in. Uh, Spidey swapping teammates like a fucking social madman. All right, so reviewing teams is a little bit, uh, it's not really my forte. You guys can probably clearly tell. I'm trying my best. I don't really know what to say about teams. I've never been much of a teams main myself. I have been maining teams the past um, month, but I don't really play teams as much as I play solo. Like, if you compare my solo and team win counts, um, then you'll, you'll, you'll know what I mean. But this chest route they're going on seems to be pretty solid, out of the way, enclosed. It's good to play against a B hopper that way. So, pretty good. Alright. Uh, wow. Dude, um... Fucking, the fact that there's a bee hopper in their game really sucks because it takes away from, like, the gameplay review. Honestly, that, like, actually blows. I would not mind if you guys edited your videos to, like, avoid, like, major bee hoppers. Like, cheaters in general, it's fine because, like, you can outplay cheaters. And, oh, okay, so I was about to say he's kind of, like, leaving his teammate behind, but that was actually good. It's a good play. You know, Spidey is really not that bad of a player. I see a lot of people talking shit on his gameplay, but, like, that was smart there. Like... I guess, I mean, it was kind of unintentional, I guess. Maybe it was like a I'm lagging behind moment, but it was still an unintentionally good play. Maybe it was an int intentional play, who knows. But basically what happens here is Tynan is like the tanky bait, right? They think that he's alone. They don't see Spidey, so they just go in and they fight Tynan. And then, boom, Spidey comes in and gets like five free hits before they even realize he's there. And the fight's already over from there. It's a good, it's a good thing you can do with your teammate. It's not much criticism with Spidey's gameplay. It's actually really clean. Um, which, like, you know, the only criticism I've pretty much had with him so far is, like, he'll redundantly use snowballs, but I guess that's fine because you get so many of Snowman, it's just, like, it's a little bit of a nitpick on my end, but still, there is going to come that one game one day where you use a little bit, you know, uh, too many snowballs, and 
you fuck yourself over. Because it becomes habit eventually. Like, if you waste snowballs over and over and over and over, it'll become a habit, and then it'll become, like, bad gameplay on your end, and then it just snowballs, no pun intended, into something much worse. Okay, so they're looting, they're taking their time, which is good, because, you know, you have this amount of gear, you know, you gotta take your time, right? So, uh, you know, Tainan gives him the snowmen, he's like, look, man, you gotta take all these snowmen, just you have them all. He, he's really telling these people behind the scenes, he's like, make this gameplay review as good as possible for me. Um, so, they're in a fight here, he's trying to snowball the donkey. See right here, like, you're wasting snowballs, you just wasted how many? How many was that? You wasted an entire 16. I mean, yes, you have so many more, but it becomes force of habit eventually. And you know you're not going to catch that donkey, so, you know, snowballing it isn't the best. I mean, he had the right idea. Snowball the donkey, get it to buck, catch up to it, or stop it so that this team right here can kill it. I'm rewinding a lot, but I'm trying to, like, you know, do a little bit more of an evaluating type of gameplay review. So this team right here could have stopped the donkey if he kept snowballing it. But um, I guess uh, maybe his reflexes weren't fast enough. Maybe he thought it was a lost cause. Either way, it was he had the right idea, but, you know, wasting snowballs isn't going to do anybody any good. Seems like there's a big fight coming up here, though, because the wolves are, like, charging forward. The creeper blows up. He's snowballing. He gets a free hit off. That's good. They get a free hit on him, but it doesn't really do much. He soaks up the damage with the Prot 3. It's really good, really good. Creepers are walking forward. They blow up. This is so chaotic. Like, can we just appreciate how chaotic this is? Okay, in this... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In this one frame alone, you see four wolves. You see wolf number one, number two, number three, number four. You see somebody on eight running away with, like, half diamond. You see a creeper running towards this guy in the background that's just here with a witch. And you see this guy on 17 and a diamond chest plate running at fucking... Spidey, and then you see the creeper like about to detonate. You see the donkey coming in with another creeper detonating in the background. It's like, what is going on? And then there's Tiny behind Spidey, by the way, with half diamond. There's full diamond in one frame, basically. Like right here, there's full diamond in one frame. Holy shit. And then uh, somebody gets dropped. Let's see if they capitalize on that. Creeper's exploding. Spidey seems to know when to like capitalize, go forward. All right. Uh, creeper blows him back. He kind of retreats a little bit. It's always good to play safe, but playing a little bit too safe isn't the smartest idea. Like, uh, they could win now off of that. Like, yeah, Mr. Waffles is getting a lot of hits on Spidey. He spawns uh, five snowmen out of the eight that he had. That's good for stall tactics, but also not the best gameplay right there. Um, that's, like, one criticism I have. Um, don't play too safe because um, if you play too safe, like, if you see, like, right here, the creeper blows him up. He could have capitalized right there and just kept walking forward and the creeper would have like exploded him forward and he could have get, gotten a lot of hits on Mr. Waffles, but because of that, they nearly lose the game right here because of that. Like, if Mr. Waffles had really good movement, he could have like curved around that and actually dropped you and Tynan wouldn't have been able to do anything about it. At least that's how I see it. Because that's how it is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> My, my my opinion is objective, okay? That's it's what it is. I'm just kidding. That's not how opinions work. Relax, relax. Okay, I'm joking. Jokes. All jokes. So, Spidey is... They got split up there, which wasn't too smart. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional or anything. Spidey's trying to stall them. See, I think this is the part when you spam snowballs. You should turn around, like, right now and try to stall them so that Tynan can catch up and crit out one of the teammates or something. Um, Mr. Waffles seems to be alone here. This could be a good time for a kill. I know you're on seven, but you know... Oh, he's... Okay! Okay, he's going in. Oh, you can see Mr. Waffles got a double hit, so he has to back up. That was, that was you know, good attempt, though. Good attempt. Um, Alright, so he uses the gap. We'll save it for this exact moment. Never choke and use healing too early, you know? Always save it. See, because now he has gapple hearts in DM. The, granted, you know, he doesn't have many actual hearts to back that up, but, you know... So they seem to be in a really sticky situation right now. Mr. Waffles and his teammate are playing absolutely just really well. Um, doesn't really matter in the end, though, because Spidey gets an insane snowball combo, and Mr. Waffles' teammate is dropped by Tynan, and they have one team left to fight. It's pretty much, you know, a steamroll from here, but um, generally pretty clean gameplay. Um, there wasn't actually much, like, teammate saving this teammate or anything like that, so that was always good. Oh, there's one last DM? Question mark. He included a DM? Oh, it's against Mason Storm and KXMA. 
Oh my god. Dude, okay, so this email was actually sent to me three months ago. It's funny to think that... Oh, his teammate's Pickett, by the way. Pickett makes a last-second cameo. I like, I like that. It's funny to think that KXMA and Mason Storm win the Blitz tournament, and this is like three months before that happened, because this game takes place July 3rd, 2020, and this email was sent to me around that time, too. So it's just funny to think that, like, these are tourney winners that you're looking at right now. Okay, so um, that's actually good. Uh, let me get back to the fight. So Spidey spawns a snowman getting ready for what is to come. They are fighting a very coordinated team. Now, while they're focused on the non-kill for the speed buff, Spidey gets a shit ton of hits on their back. That's amazing. They spawn their blazes. Uh, Pickett spawns the donkey trying to get like a weird like, you know, glitch combo. Like, you know, how the... Oh my god, okay, Spidey's about to die. Pickett covers him. Spidey snowballs a bunch. He regen pots. The snowmen are doing an absolutely masterful job at stalling. Oh, I love the stall. Let's go. Okay, so I think Mason Storm is actually about to kill Pickett here, or vice versa. There's a lot of ama- This is an amazing team fight. This is what teams was made for. Holy shit. Blaze hits Pickett. Pickett's on like four. Spidey's on three hearts. Mason Storm's on a heart and a half. Holy moly. He comes in for the last hit, and, and he, he gets dropped, and then Pickett comes in for the kill. I- Okay, alright. He ends the video too fast, so you guys get to see all the suggested videos. Relax, relax, okay. Chill. Chill on me, please. This was a very entertaining gameplay review episode, honestly. I had a lot of fun reviewing Spidey's gameplay. Honestly, going into it, I thought the team's games would be very boring. I kind of want to go back and watch this fight because it was just so good. Like, I have to watch this again. I'm not even going to, like, evaluate it like I did the first time. But holy shit, like, this fight, fight was so close and so, like... Uh, like, even, even if they got the hits there, they got, it, Spidey got so many hits off. I said I wasn't gonna, like, review it, but I, I can't help myself. This is such a good fight. Um, Spidey got so many hits, but somehow they come back from that and almost win the game. They spawn their blazes. Pickett spawns his donkey. So much utility being used here. Uh, Spidey uses, like, about 12 snowballs to get away. He regen pots. The snowmen are blocking off the shots. The donkey blocks a fireball, and it's like, so much is going on. And it's so, like, fast-paced, and the teamwork here on both sides is fucking perfection. Like, oh my god, this is what Teams was made for. I was kind of not too keen on reviewing Teams gameplay, I'm not gonna lie, but this is, like, beautiful. This is beautiful Blitz gameplay. Such an even fight. Literally, literally. Okay, well, I, I almost clicked on this fucking one of these videos. Holy shit, that would have been bad. Um... But such perfect teams gameplay. Like, you see that, um, you know, KXMA kills Spidey and then, um, so Spidey kills Mason Storm and then KXMA capitalizes and kills Spidey. And then right after Pickett kills KXMA and the fight ends with KXMA or Pickett on nine health, which is four and a half hearts. Four and a half hearts. And before the last kill, he was on how many? Three? That's insane. Anyways, um, overall, though, I'd give Spidey a pretty high rating. Um, a lot of people like to dog on him because, you know, uh, he doesn't seem like the best player. He talks a lot about cheaters. He, he's similar to me. He likes to complain a lot about hackers and people cross-teaming, things like that, breaking the rules. And people like to dog on him for that, but I, I want to give him kudos. This is good gameplay. I, I was walking into this with my eyebrows raised. I've never really fought Spidey before. I know that he's a high kill player, but I've heard a lot of talk that he's not as good as people think he is. And honestly, this gameplay is not even that bad. It's actually a very far above average. Um, I will admit the team's games, uh, there were, you know, obviously there's somebody to lean on. Um, you know, his teammate, there's always somebody to lean on in teams. But generally, he knows what he's doing. Very fast reflexes, uh, very fast thinking. He knows when to use his items where. Um, sometimes he uses them a little bit too much, but that's okay. Um, everybody makes mistakes, right? Overall, though, I'd give his gameplay, like, solid 8 out of 10. You know, there wasn't too many mistakes, um, that I could see anyway. His, um, you know, inventory clearing was good to get items. His looting was fast. His chest looting was fast. His, uh, priority chest looting was insane, like the priority he had for certain items. His PvP was pretty fucking solid, actually. Um, I expected for like a laggier player because he's from France, I believe, um, to not to have a lot more choppy gameplay or melee PvP type stuff. But he did very, very good. Sorry for that breathy thing there. My uh, breath just like caught in my throat. Fuck that. Um, but generally, 
Holy moly. Very good gameplay. Um, Game Sense, pretty high, too. He made a montage called Game Sense, ironically enough, so it's kind of funny that um his Game Sense actually pretty good. We all know what I'm referencing. I was so tempted, okay, at the end of the video, for all those that watched this far, I was so tempted to make a minimap joke, joke this entire fucking time. But, honestly, uh, for all the, those of you that clown on Spidey for having a minimap, I mean, he holds his own, you know. And it may seem like I'm sucking him off, but, you know, players can't be good at this game, and they need to be rewarded for that vocally, if that is the case. And with an experienced player like Spidey, like I said earlier in the series when I first ever had a KSC on the series, if they have a lot of kills and wins, there's not going to be much for me to say, really. Like, they're good players. They know what they're doing. So this is mostly just to teach you newer players how to play, right? Uh, I'm going to get back to reviewing some more mid-tier kills players and lower kills players in the future. So if you're one of those, make sure to send me an email once again at duckduckdog1 at gmail.com. All that information is going to be in the description below. Uh, anyway, thank you, Spidey, for submitting your uh, gameplay to be reviewed. It was, a, it was a pleasure. Very fun to review, honestly. Holy shit. Anyway... Uh, see you guys in the next one. Duck, duck, dog. Signing out.